And if you see the one little yellow guy there, much tinier than the other ones, and his feathers are fluff or whatever, or sort of stuck to it. It's dried off, but it's, it dried off differently than the other ones did. Supposedly 18 days is the outside limit of whether or not these type of quail eggs will hatch. I waited a full 19 days and then I shut off the incubator and next to the incubator I had a waste paper basket that I was putting the eggshells in every time that I took a quail out and put it down here in the brooder. So I shut the incubator off and the 20, 21 eggs I guess that were remaining I just put them in the waste paper basket to dispose of went to bed. And the incubator was in a room across the hall from my bedroom and I kept hearing cheeping. And I thought, I shouldn't be able to hear them all the way from the basement. Finally I got up and this little thing had hatched in the waste paper basket. Him or her, I picked it up and uh, put it back in the incubator along with the rest of the unhatched eggs and turned the incubator back on overnight and it's now eight hours later and the it's alive and well, I think. Totally different than any of the other quail. It's completely going to be a little yellow. You could be picked at there now. It's going to be a little yellow one, uh, with the fluff anyway. I suspect that means it'll probably be a white bird. Um, Texas A&M, or English white, whatever they want to call them. Anyway, it's the only one that I have that looks like that, and she was born in a garbage can. So The final count is 20. 50% exactly. At least I think that's the final count. I have uh, got left the incubator going with the other 20 eggs that are in it. I'll leave them for at least another day, I guess. I don't want to take any chances, but surely I think that must be the last one. So I just thought I'd give you that interesting little update. Thank you for watching.